back to the band guide. I'm your band guy, Colin, and I'm really excited about today. Today is gonna to be the first part in a six part series where I walk you through the six steps to a pro mix and garage band. You're gonna follow along with me. You're gonna be able to see what I'm actually doing when I talk about these six steps. So if you haven't seen the video where I explain what the six steps are, I'll link to that up here. I explain each of the six steps there. And if you're new to the channel and you're serious about getting pro level mixes in GarageBand, be sure to subscribe. Today we're gonna to be doing step one, the static mix. The static mix is hugely important, but incredibly simple. There's only one goal in the static mix, and that is to get the best volume and pan possible for every single channel in your track. This is extremely important, but often skipped. There are no plugins in this stage, and you want to do this before you do any EQ or compression because the EQ and compression that you're going to be doing on your tracks will be affected by the volume and pan that they're sitting in the mix. So do this first. Now, to get good at mixing is like getting good at anything. You learn the fundamentals and you practice them. In the series, I'm going to be teaching you the fundamentals, but if you want to practice them, I want to give you something to help with that. I want to give you the session that we're using in this video series. You can download it. There's a link in the description below, and then you can practice along with what we're doing. You can apply these fundamentals to this exact same track. The track we're going to be using today is a song Higher by my band Broke Royals. We recorded this song up in New York at Nada Recording Studios, where I co-engineered it with John Naclerio. I picked this song for the series because there's a lot going on in this song. There's drums, there's bass, there's guitar, there's 12-string guitar, there's synth, there's piano, there's a lot of vocals, there's a lot of digital drums. And you have to take all of that, figure out where everything goes, and make it sound good in one stereo mix where you can hear everything, it's punchy, it's clear, it's full. That's not easy to do. So again, be sure to download this session at the link below in the description and let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing we're gonna do is set the MV meter to on our master track. We wanna make sure that we're never too loud at any point in this song so that we're avoiding any sort of digital distortion or clipping on the master track. So you wanna set this as the last plugin here. This is a free plugin. I'll link to it in the description below. And then we wanna set the peak standard. And I'm just gonna leave it up here the whole time I'm mixing. I'm gonna disappear because this is obviously where I typically live. And we're just gonna keep it up the whole time we're mixing. Now. You can see I've looped the loudest part of the song, uh, and that's because if it's not peaking in the loudest part of the song, then it's hopefully not gonna peak at any point in the song. So we'll start with the loudest part of the song, just have that loop, and then we'll go and work through the whole song a few times to make sure we get everything. And then I'm just gonna bring everything up in order. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna start mixing. Higher, oh, I'll take you higher. looking for is to make sure that we're never peaking at over negative three here on this max meter. Higher, higher. Oh, I'll take you higher, higher. Oh, my love. Higher, higher. Oh, I'll take you higher, higher. Oh, my love. Higher, higher, oh, I'll take you higher, higher, oh, my love. 
Higher, higher, oh, I'll take you higher.
so I think I've got everything from this part of the song. So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to take this off. And then I'm going to reset this to just loop the whole song. So we'll just take this and we'll come in. Let's see, from the first verse. Thank you, God. So I want to get that beginning because I want to make sure I get this level right. All right, and then we're just going to keep going and bring in all these other elements that weren't in at the end. Let's do it. But you're not so low, yeah, you're not so far away I've gone, but you're not so low, yeah, you're not so far away I've been the one when money's spent and your head's under the wave Not so low, yeah, you're not so far away. I've been the one when money's spent and your head's under the I'm just waiting for your call, but it's not gonna come at all. Higher, higher, oh, I'll take you higher, higher, oh, my love. Higher, higher, oh, you higher, higher, oh, my love. gonna come and I'm in a hotel bed in Colorado I'm still waiting for your call but it's not gonna come at all higher higher oh I'll take you higher you think you're gone but you're not so low yeah you're not so far away Under the waves Here I am again A hotel bed in Cali Not so far That's it. I think we got everything and it sounded really good to me. Uh, there, I'm realizing now there's one string part that I want to find. I know there's a string part in here. Not gonna come at all. Here I am again, a hotel bed in Colorado. I'm still waiting for your call, but it's not gonna come at all. Higher, higher, oh, I'll take you higher, higher, oh, my love. Higher, higher, oh, I'll take you higher, higher, oh, my love. Awesome. 
All right, and that's it. So we now have a static mix established, and some of this will likely change as we're doing the next stages, but we've set ourselves up to be in a really good starting point where I can already hear that kick drum really well. I can already hear that bass really well. I might decide to want a little more bass in the future, but I know that everything's at a really good starting place right now, so then when I EQ and I compress, I know that it's gonna be solid decisions. So. Be sure to download this track so you can mix along with us. You can apply these fundamentals with us in the description below. And subscribe so that you don't miss another video for pro-level audio training. Last thing, I'm going to ask you a question. What's one song that you're proud of that you've mixed? Share it in the comments below, and I'll check it out, and I'll let you know what I think of it. I can't promise this forever, but if you're doing this soon to the time that I've posted this video, I'll respond to everybody who shares their song. So be sure to share a song in the comments below, and I'll let you know what I think of your mix, and comment on each other's. Let them know what you think, too. Talk soon. <laughs>